What's cooking? Welcome to another fascinating, riveting episode of What's Cooking right here, of course, on City TV. My name is Apioko. Now, what are we doing today? Something very interesting. We're going to make what many Westerners, English speaking people, would call a pottage. Now, what's a pottage? If you have your tubers, say yam, cocoa yam, sweet potatoes, you have any of those things, you have your vegetables, so carrots, cabbage, you have tomatoes. The bottom line is you take these things, add some spices, and you boil it all together to make it a very thick brew, thicker than porridge but I mean more like soup in terms of taste and really I'm describing what Mpoto Mpoto is and that's what we're making today Mpoto Mpoto the Ghana's best or West Africa I know that my Nigerian brothers and sisters will come for me here West Africa's best pottage hands down Mpoto Mpoto now there's a special gentleman who's going to help me with my cooking today he's my colleague I call him baby and again there are some people here at City would not be very happy knowing that I'm calling him baby on camera, but I call him baby. Now, I admire him a lot because he's extremely versatile. News and current affairs, he's there. Lifestyle, entertainment, social issues, he's there. And when it comes to swag, fashion sense, and flat out style, few men I know personally can compare. And he does it with all the pomp and majesty as a young prince the true prince real life prince that he is will do and when we come back i'll introduce my guest in the what's cooking kitchen so let's go for a quick break and when we return it's in potom potter and it doesn't get any better than that What's cooking here on City TV? My name once again is Apioko. I am your hostess. Now it's time to get into the cooking of this pottage that I was talking about in case you're just joining us. What I was explaining was that when you have some tubers, you have some spices, some meat, some veggies, when you boil it all together in one big pot to bring it to a nice thick consistency, bursting with taste, we call it a pottage. And that's really what important potter is that's really what it is so today that's what we're making and I did mention that there's the suavest flyest cat in the house who's going to be cooking with me today Nana to four Woo! Oh, hey, hi hey hey baby you? You know, see? I, I know you're good with your intros yeah but I didn't see this coming <laughs> but it's welcome though I mean I love it but, but I was only it. telling the truth <laughs> Your, your fashion truth. sense, okay, one. you know, the, the kind of swag that you enter a room mm, with. That's true. You capture the aura of a room. I do that. No, you have no My idea. God. You have no <laughs> idea. Look, that's what people, they are watching you on TV. They are not listening to what you are saying. Really? I'm just letting you know. Some people. Well, guys, you should be paying make, attention to I, what I'm saying. <laughs> actually. <laughs> Some people. Well, it's good to have you here. Well, it's great to be in yes. this famous kitchen. Yeah. So, we're making a pot on pot on. Yeah. Now, you are very busy. Mm -hmm. So, it's hard to get to you yeah. between all the newsroom stuff you do. Mm -hmm. Right, from news yeah. production, news gathering, yeah. news anchoring and presenting, exactly, news casting, yeah. Yeah. before Upside Down today, and then exactly. you're emceeing you know that, gigs, right? and then yeah. being a, the wonderful <laughs> husband and daddy that you I know, are, right? it's hard yeah. to get you in this kitchen. Yeah. So, yeah. we thought, why don't we do something that's simple, mm -hmm. that's of our heritage, okay. and that won't take too much time so that we can yeah. get you out of the kitchen yeah. fast, but still taste your fingerprints. I fingerprint. like that, I like that, I like yes. that. So, so we're doing in Porto Porto. Yes, we're doing in Porto. We're using I heard you mention some big word B. Pottage. Oh Lord, it's a pottage. that's so Western. A pottage, a pottage. That's so Western. Now, well, you know, we sometimes know I like to do these things because <laughs> a lot of people feel that our things that mm -hmm. we, we yeah. do at home, 
you know, yeah. that we were born and Please bred. Thank mm -hmm. you. We were born and bred with when it comes to food. Mm -hmm. Some people think that they have no place in the international world. Oh, they do. But people yeah. eat these things and sometimes you're looking for a mm. variation exactly, or yeah. you want to, you walk into a corner store mm. somewhere on the streets of London or something uh -huh. of the sort and you want to tell them that you're looking for some, some special spice yeah. to make in pot on pot on. They don't know what that is. They say, I'm going to make a pottage. Uh -huh. We have a variety of spices that I could use yeah. of the African descendancy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so it gives them a, at least an idea exactly. of exactly what you... And then also, yeah, I fine. also think that for a long time, we've not so sort of incorporated... Yes, please, very important. That. We've well, not incorporated um, If our, I did have some hair, then at least I'll be wearing a... Well, 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 we like your, you like your hair, yeah, yeah, you know. I know, I know. But, I mean, what I was saying is that for the longest time, we've not incorporated the things of mm -hmm. our language, yeah. you know, the, the words that we know that mm -hmm. describe our food and our culture yeah. best into the English language. Exactly, and now yeah. we, have, we officially have Ghanaian English. It's mm -hmm. documented mm -hmm. as well as the new Englishes. Yeah. So why can't we place in Potompoto? in there mm -hmm. as a kind of Ghanaian pottage. I think but, we've reached well, that I think, I think we are at that point because yes. most of our foods now are produced locally but consumed globally. Exactly. So I think we should be perhaps just to feed into the taste of the Western world a little bit more branding of our local foods. Very important. So we can get there. Very All important. Alright, so I like the fact that we're cooking in Potom Poto. Like ah. you mentioned, it and wouldn't take much of our time. How do you say kukuyam in your language? Kukuyam. Yes. That's mankini. Mankini. Yeah, mankini. Okay. Or if you go to Atapa, there's another type of kokoyam, the one we call brube. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a little bit sweeter. That one is so, and, and more purple, Exactly, I'm more purple okay. than this one. Okay. Yes. I mean, I love kokoyam. Mm -hmm. um, my mom is from Peki, okay. Abitile. Okay. In the northern part of Volta, mm. they are Vedomes. Okay. You know, the group of Eves that we call Vedomes. Right. And they do a lot of tubers because mm -hmm. they are more... I mean, they're not so coastal, like mm -hmm. down laws and people yeah. from Keta and those areas. Right. So they do a lot of tubers. They are farmers. Mm -hmm. So yam, yam fufu, koke yam fufu. These mm -hmm. are things you have in my house. But when it comes to Mpoto Mpoto, mm -hmm. again, very popular. Yeah. In fact, sometimes we will do, we'll do everything mm -hmm. in one pot yeah. today. But a lot of the time, my mom would make yeah. the soup, like cook it with love yeah. and affection <laughs> before we now introduce everything the, else, everything yeah, else. so so yeah so then mm. we, we, we boil yeah. the yeah. the the yam and the cookie as if you are boiling it in yeah. water but this time it's in oh, soup it's in and soup. then everything yeah. else goes yeah. in there but today we're doing it the quick way sorry mommy <laughs> of course this has a lot of nutritional value Absolutely. as well and i like the fact that um, it doesn't take much time to cook no, no, no. very yeah. quick one pot meal very within a few minutes uh, you are done and that, of course aside its nutritional value and it's been a whole meal on its own. I think it's recommended for babies yes. as well for during yes. weaning. Yes. Yeah. So it makes a lot because of sense. Because it's very smooth, like you said, very nutritious. Yeah. Uh, very nutritious. Nutritious. That's yeah. the word. I'm going to say nutritious. Great stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff. Okay. So Do you know how to peel? We're going to peel our uh, kukuyam. Ha. Let's see. See how it flips. In fact, let me get a bowl. <laughs> hey, yeah, too no, no. Yeah, I'm doing some know. chef skills this here. Is chef to four. <laughs> I'm just getting a bowl so we can put the peels in. All right there. then. Sometimes we even make our own tolo beef. We have right. that here as well. Salt it, uh, you know, over two days in anticipation of a weekend in Potom Poto field. Exactly. Or something. Yeah, I think if oh, it has that uh, beef flavor in it, it gives it uh, this taste that really makes you enjoy oh, it yeah, the yeah. more. It so, does. I mean, we would typically go for some momone right. or kobe in there. Yeah. <laughs> you cut it into little chunks yeah. and then you leave it in there. Yeah, or you fry it with the, together with the palm oil or before some onions before you add mm. it to Yeah, it gives you that salty taste, which makes it, I mean, it's kind of heavenly when you're having it. It is. Yay! We've arrived in life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me start putting them into this bowl so right. we can wash them off. Okay. A banana, you know how to handle a knife. It's very impressive. Oh, well, I tried. I, I mean, tried. I wasn't judging you, but I didn't expect <laughs> no, this. No, I have a feeling you had your own perception. I wasn't, I no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I've learned not to, yeah. you know. I mean, um, not just because of what's cooking, but yeah, well. I've come across many, many, I mean, even me. Everyone see me and think I don't do a thing because my mm -hmm. nails are always looking 
fly, if I must say so myself. Yeah, but if you grew up red in the type of home I grew up in, you, you learn to know it's not all about seat and tie. Exactly. Exactly. There's more to life than yeah. just I mean, showing up. My father up. cooks. <laughs> my father cooks. Yeah. And not to survive. Mm -hmm. He cooks very well. He, oh, okay. He's, he's an accomplished cook. Well, I cook to survive. I'm no, no chef way, or anything. But the way but, you're yeah. handling the knife and the, and the cooker. Yeah. Oh, let's just lots. say I try. <laughs> the knife and the amakani. This, the is, not cook, this yeah. is not cooked to survive matter. Kokiam is fresh. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful vibes. I just throw this water away. Actually, yeah. I saw. Oh, Nana, today. Mm -hmm. It's only people who are who get to see the behind the scenes I saw. <laughs> we are only shouting for. So I saw, please. Alrighty. So you see who it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day I saw she'll be in front of the camera. One day I saw will do the cooking mm -hmm. because she's also a very good yeah. cook. <laughs> she's also a very good cook. Uh, all right, okay. so we'll cut them so into smaller chunks. Chunks. Okay, so we've cleaned up our mm -hmm. workstation. Yeah. Kokoyam is nicely, nicely chopped. chopped, peeled into small bits. Yeah. I'm just going to pour this water out, like doing a final yeah. wash kind of thing. Right, Nana? Yeah. Are we on track? We are on track. We are on track? <laughs> yeah, we are on track. Yeah. So yeah, we just pour this water off it. Nana, do the patwa for me. Oh, you want me to be lingual like a bit? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's a kakayam thing. You hear me? <laughs> Love it. Yeah, man. Love yeah, it. man. Kian done. Kian done. Okay. Kian done. Let me just drop this here. Okay, so now we need mm -hmm. some fresh water. Fresh water. Mm -hmm. Here comes fresh water. Yeah. 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 So there you go. Yeah. Cover that up. Pour some water upon it. It's not nice, time nice, to cook nice, the nice, cookie. Nice, nice. So, for our viewers, let mm -hmm. me just say that what we're doing now. It's sort of like cooking a soup yeah, with kokoyam in it yame. from the beginning. Yeah. That, that's the idea. Yeah. So we're going to put in some salt. Mm. Okay. And that should be enough. Yeah. We need to have some good tea. We don't have any, well, there's solo beef here. There's solo beef, yeah. We've washed it a lot, so it doesn't have so much the salt, salt content. flavor in yes. there. Right. And I'm not going to, okay, well, maybe so that it will cook fast. I'll just cut our tomatoes in mm -hmm. half and toss okay. them in we'll there. Okay, just toss it in there. Yes. There's typically tomatoes in your soup, right? At yeah. least in your light you put soup. everything in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's called a pottage. Uh -huh. So it boils Stray together. Boom, poto, boom. Yeah. You know, for all you, uh, in mm -hmm. potom poto. Yeah. For all you know, the word pottage came from shegun poto gumo. Possibly. Possibly. I refuse Possibly. to believe that <laughs> it has anything to do with the word pot. No, I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so, because... Okay. Other than that, then there will be a, a literal exactly. translation in Porto. You are, you are smart. You are yeah. smart. <laughs> so then we've got some Scotch bonnet peppers mm -hmm. here. Not new to this show. Yeah. So the local peppers that we find on our markets these right. days. And I must say that it's different from Paposhito. Lots yeah. of people think that this is Paposhito. Mm. No, it's not. And there was okay. a time when you'd struggle to find these, these in our local right. markets. You'd right. see um, Ojingma, the yellow That's the yellowish ones. ones. Yes, yeah. you'd see... Um, of course, Pakushito Akwili Wabi, which is a long, the long chili peppers, one, but yeah. these not so much. Now, mm. these are the most common, yeah. and they are red ones too. But they are called Scotch bonnet peppers in mm. English. Scotch bonnet peppers. Right. And the Pakushito are called petty bells. Mm. Basically, meaning little bells. Yeah. Right. Or little bells. We wouldn't know this. We just step in the market you and ask for the bigger ones. Yes. Charlie, give me the I'm big pepper. I'm saying this for our <laughs> brethren and our sisters <laughs> yeah, who we'll go and shop in supermarkets. Or oh, that you them are in other parts of the world. <laughs> if you know, you know. So as well, Scotch, yes. Scotch bonnet, bonnet peppers. peppers. Yes. Okay. And if it's proper, she told petit bell. Petit, okay, that's in yes. French. Yes, so Little, small bell. Small. So the okay. small version oh. of maybe a green pepper yeah. or a sweet red or yellow mm. pepper. Okay, so I'm going to just crush it in a little. Okay. So petit bell, yeah. that's the proper she told. Yep, petit bell. Petit bell is like what, little pretty? In oh, well, I mean, you can think of it that way, <laughs> yes. You can think of it that way. Okay. But basically what it is, is just small bell. Small bell, yes. right. Okay, so I'm just crushing them in. Mm -hmm. And what will happen is, after the mixture and everything has cooked yeah. on fire for some time, 
We'll take the peppers yeah. and the tomatoes out and we'll put we'll, it. We'll yeah, it you know, you know what I'm saying? saying. Yeah, right. Oh, now, now you understand it. Okay, do you like a lot of pepper? I am more of a pepper person, okay. so I was actually going to ask you if okay. this will be enough. Yes, don't worry. <laughs> I'm adding for your sake. Nice, 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 nice. I'm not much of a yeah. pepper person. Oh, okay. But I'm very accommodating for my guests. Aren't you a darling? <laughs> And the red peppers are typically hotter, hotter than, the, than the green peppers. The green ones. You need right. a little bit more of this. A little bit more salt in there. Yes. And then the okay. onions. Mm -hmm. So we've got these big, beautiful... Yeah. They're called red onions, but they're mm -hmm. really purple or mauve or violet or whatever <laughs> you want to call them. I've Again, always stayed away from onions mm -hmm. because I think they don't like me. Oh, then please. No just, matter how far I stand away from it, I'm just, gonna cry. Just, just <laughs> move, move over there. Somewhere. Yeah, but since we're not chopping it a little no, bit, no, no. I think it will be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Just big chunks, because we are going to grind all of this. Yeah. After they are, they come yes, to a boil, very right? Important. Nice, 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 nice. And you nice. don't want it to be too small. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just going to use half of this one. It's really big. Mm. And the reason the big we're mama. yes, the big mama. <laughs> Big mama, man. Yeah. The reason we're, we're using a lot of onions is, as you've realized on this show, most of the guests who come through and then when we are doing the cooking mm. ourselves, we don't like to use spices that are artificial right. a lot of the time. Um, as much as possible, you want to play around with natural flavors, yeah. things that you can pick up in your pantry, exactly. from the corner yeah. store, or your local market. Mm. So I think that's, that's the good. idea here. Yeah. yeah? We have enough onions. Natural is beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. Always. Like Natural my hair. Natural tastes better. Huh? <laughs> like my hair. Yeah. I'm like actually going to talk about your hair. <laughs> but let's finish cooking. No, no. Yeah. Do you know that there's a standing debate about my hair? Oh, definitely. If I step the in that debate, I'm winning. So. The wonderful people who have been watching me, they've been debating about whether or not my hair is real. Really? Yes. Or whether I just have a wig sitting on top of my head, a, a, a bright wow. red wig. Wow, yeah. maybe so one day we should have a show on your hair. I think so. Yeah, maybe one day. Yeah, that's we should actually, just have a show on your hair. A, that's a very mm -hmm. good idea. Yeah, yeah. So I will let my hair out and everybody can see for themselves. But trust me, this is all hairs. Every it inch. Is hair. Yeah. I actually look out for red hair if I want to find out <laughs> a piece in the office. So yeah. As many people in the city do. Okay. Yeah, but it's all natural. It's beautiful as well. So, Thank yeah. you, Nana. One day you should see her let it all down. Like, here. Yeah. Like so, like, so people have been debating. Pow! Oh no! Come on. Even Samet has come to ask you one. He said, "Look, Charlie, the people mm. they've been asking me, is the hair real? Oh, even me with no hair, I can I know real hair when I see it. Come on, I people. I don't blame nah. people. <laughs> no, because uh, I mean, and mm. since we're doing a very rootsy heritage filled, yeah, year, a lot of the time we've also believed that." For, and for very long that mm. African hair doesn't grow doesn't grow long doesn't grow so to say but I mean we've seen pictures and videos exactly. of our mothers our grandmothers with exactly. long hair yeah but when your hair is especially mm. natural I mean, of course we have natural brilliance yeah. so what we just did is toss yeah. a few some garlic cloves garlic, of garlic and there. then ginger yes all right and then this is a shrimp cube okay that's okay. a brilliant cube I'm gonna okay. put one in there that's and for then we'll seasoning. Add, absolutely. Some dry herrings, herrings. Dried herrings. Nice, 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 okay, nice. Okay, so I'm just going to break them. I'm just going to break them in there. Also. You don't, I mean, you don't want that. This is not a kind of meal where, yes, you should have something to chew small mm -hmm. because we are not babies. Yeah. And this is not the kind of important part of a baby food. Exactly. But at the same time, you don't want mm. what you're eating to be interrupted by some okay. massive chunk. And yeah. now you have to yeah. be doing great grand mm. sense. No. And then tolo beef. Yeah, almighty tolo. <laughs> Should we cut up smaller? Yeah, maybe in yeah. smaller chunks. In so small chunks. It's not like we've necessarily put in the beef there, but exactly. yeah, at least beef will bring its own spice and then, of course, something to munch on while yeah. you enjoy your. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the meat from it and yeah. put it in there. Mm -hmm. But I'll also cook it with the bones. Okay. So, the bones also bring out some flavor. Sure. And then, when it's almost done, we can just scoop the, nice, the nice, bones nice, out. Nice. Maybe use them for a broth later mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. Great stuff, okay. great stuff. There are actually some recipes that I've actually mm. written down. Okay. So I found my own quantities. Okay, if mm -hmm. I know I'm cooking for two people or four people, right. I'm doing maybe one cup, of one, one liter, yeah. one this, one that, one teaspoon. Nice, nice. Yes. 
I've actually done that, especially when it comes to baking, because mm -hmm. I bake as well. Okay, great, right? great, great. Um, and that's something yeah. that my mother taught us. Yeah. She was cooking professionally, mm -hmm. catering professionally at a point. Right. So for me, that's always been the challenge. Hey, I'm preparing a meal for five. How much of this? Uh, how many liters of yeah, that? So uh, how many spoons of this or that? Tricky. Yeah. Okay. But if I'm cooking for myself, of course, I know to maybe uh -huh. do some half cup rice or, you know. I understand you. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so here we are. Mm -hmm. Nice, and nice. And now nice, we nice. go. So we're going to the okay. fireplace now. That's all. Mm -hmm. Please, I need the, the cover for the medium sized pots. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful, so we're just going to get the lid and then yeah. we'll cover that. And then one last thing I'm going to do. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we've got these spices here. A spice brand that's closely associated with what's cooking. I'm just going to okay. pour one sachet in there. Okay, so, so that's what Sankofa yes. natural and, spices. Yes, and what I love about mm. Sankofa is that all the so all the natural things we're talking yeah. about they've just sort of found a way of mm. um all right so we'll just stir it a dehydrating little bit. them okay so it's so they keep it in dry, a dry state yes right so that's easy to package no additives mm. no preservatives just, just adding natural to the spices. convenience of modern life wow <laughs> but keeping the heritage goodness mm -hmm. in there of course we all want a soft life so hey, yeah. hey, hey it's very <laughs> necessary <laughs> Okay, there we go. So now we wait. Of course. Wait for it to boil. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go for a break. When we come back, hopefully our kokoyam, our amankani, our amakani, mm -hmm. I mean, whatever <laughs> you call yeah. it in your language. Amankani koko. You understand. <laughs> hopefully it would have softened up enough and then uh -huh. our veggies, the tomatoes, the peppers, the yeah. onions will also be soft enough for us to do some some hardcore apotoriwa yeah. sanka grind ka, grinding kind of tins. <laughs> we'll be right back. This is what's cooking on City TV. Welcome back. We're still cooking up a raging, what's Hamatan storm? <laughs> here at What's Cooking. And I'm here, of course, with Nana Tufo Boati. We call him the Tooth Man. Yay. Yeah. Swagalicious <laughs> Tooth. My baby in the city. Okay. And we're making impotompoto. <laughs> like what yeah. I said, some people would call a pottage. Mm -hmm. It's a kokoyam pottage, an amankani pottage, an amakani pottage a cocoa yam pottage we've been boiling our cocoa yam mm -hmm. our dried herrings yeah. our tolo beef which is basically salted pieces of beef, beef, though, beef. But those of you haven't been initiated into the tolo beef culture that's what it is we have some um, tomatoes in here as well like i said red onions mm -hmm. um, green peppers our local green peppers mm -hmm. there's some red ones too what we call scotch bonnet peppers when you go to the market it is meko it is shito <laughs> just pick some bye <laughs> And then we put in some of our dried packaged mm -hmm. natural spices as well. And then a bit of shrimp, um, bouillon cubes, some cubes, salt yeah. too. And we did say that if you're the type who likes your, your things to be very thick, thick, want to play around with some tomato paste, you could do that. But we're not doing tomato paste today. So now that everything mm. has boiled together. I'm loving the hmm. aroma. <laughs> Charlie, there's also something wow. that my mom uh, makes a lot. We call it echime nukwe. What's that? So, basically, so you can, again, do the cocoa yam, mm -hmm. do the sweet potato, do yam. Yam, yes. Puna or even water yam. Yeah. Because once that you're doing it. anything with soup, mm -hmm. yes, water yam works. Mm -hmm. 
and you make your soup and towards the the let's say when the soup is about three quarters way done mm -hmm. you put small 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 pieces of your yam cookie yam whatever okay. tuber it is in there right. and then you don't mash it mm -hmm. you just have the big chunks in there, in there and you drink your soup wow. chew a bit chali <laughs> it's also another that's level nice. of that's awesomeness nice. that's nice that's you nice know? but today we're doing mm -hmm. a pot on pot all right so, so nana, we're going to take our veggies out yes mm -hmm. i put the asanka on some the what do you call yeah. it the ayua, apotoyua. Apotoyua, yeah. okay. So some would say asanka, some would say apotoyua. Yeah. Um, where again, mm. where my mother comes from, would say agba. The guns would say ka. You know, okay. but it's an earthenware bowl, asanka, mm. whatever it is. So we're just putting our tomatoes and peppers Pepper in, in here. There. And onions as well. Now they are yeah. very soft. Yeah. Okay, so we've got almost everything. Everything out, yeah. Nice, nice, okay, nice. So I think nice. I can start mashing. Okay. At least so I'm just chance. going to move my asanka. Yeah, my ajowa. Shall I give you a kitchen stool? Or you oh, I think I can, I can manage this standing, yeah. So guys, I'm just going to dig in with my tapuli. <laughs> yeah. Nana is training her skills. Mm -hmm. So Nana, I'm going to do something a little interesting. Right. Once you've grinded mm -hmm. all this goodness together after a while, we'll add yeah. a little bit of the palm oil, okay. red oil, zomi, okay. whatever you call it. Oops, it's dripping. Hmm. And then I'm just going to pour a little bit of it in here right okay. now. Yeah, just a little. What it's going to do, because you know when it comes to impoto and mm -hmm. the palm oil is also a big part of the taste experience. Right. So what it's going to do is, while we're waiting for the kokoyam, the mankani, mm -hmm. to get to the level of softness, tenderness mm -hmm. that we really want it to be, as well as the tulu beef and the herrings, yeah. it will just soak in some of that flavor. Yeah. So similar thing, and if you were doing a bomu or any of these other meals, you would typically start putting the, the palm oil on fire, fire adding yeah. some onion, onions, some momoni or yeah. whatever it is to flavor <laughs> it. It's a similar concept here. So that's yes. what we're doing. Just nice, a little. Nice, nice. Just a little. Okay. So I'm going to cover it. So by the time you're done grinding, mm -hmm. then we add a bit of the palm oil to that. Yeah. And then it goes back in as a whole new different spice. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, you got some grinding skills. Oh, you see? Yeah. I think they are skills. You see? Uh, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. Okay, so yeah, what does that mean? Basically, if you, you get the best of everything depending on how close you are to your mom. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Mothers are awesome. Yeah. So I know I am. I mean, in a typical <laughs> a can home when your mom is cooking and you're sitting by her, if it's of dry fish, she breaks a little and passes it on. Yeah. When the, it's fufu, we are yet to pound. If it's the cassava, she picks it's it. true. something and then she passes it on to you. That's yeah. very true. But then if you are the kid who is always on the And at the, the same time, when you're always with her uh -huh. and she realizes that Charlie, you need some new shoes. She yeah, will buy it for you. Exactly. When she has some small mm -hmm. change, she'll give it to you to go and buy a yeah. lewa or cocoa powder. That's the whole or thing. Or toffee, whatever. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's true. <laughs> right? It's true. You're always on the yeah. football pitch. But if you're away from it. home, always playing on the park, I mean. You miss out. Really oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be talking a little bit more about this when we sit down sure. to eat um, pot on pot on. Mm -hmm. uh, what I would like to discuss with you, because I know you have also grown up in the royal setting. Right. You know, right. royal right. Akan setting. Yeah. So you understand heritage. You of understand yeah. the traditions that we carry mm -hmm. as a people, at yeah. least where, where you come from. Right. You understand those. Right. And then on a bigger scale, a more macro scale for Ghana, mm -hmm. you do have a very deep understanding of the things that make us who we are right. traditionally and culturally. That's true. That's true. And I would like to discuss with you, and like I said, we'll do that later, sure. whether you feel that we're losing that and whether our children are at risk of not mm -hmm. getting, like you said, being close your to your mother. Like, Please, they don't have, even have time exactly. to cook. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, we, we do fast track cooking, mm -hmm. you know, and, and our, our, our children losing out, and yeah. your father yourself. So right. I'm curious to know how you are also trying to make sure that the lineage stuff. Yes, yeah. is, is preserved. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. You stuff, think, you think we're good? Uh, depending on how fine or how smooth you want it, 
but oh, yeah. I, 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 if you wanted it super smooth, then you would have used a blender. <laughs> we are not blenders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I see that, that you are gives it this feel, I mean. Well, we're blenders, but we're not blenders. Mm -hmm. you get, you get the pan there. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I think it's good. It's I think we're, we're great yes. now. Yeah. You're, you're brilliant. All right. You know how to import mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, here we go. Spoons. Right. There we go. So nice. I'm just gonna Hang toss on. So it all in there. This bit, and mm -hmm. then we'll add a little bit of the palm the oil. Palm oil to yes. this, right? And just it's a tiny bit. Uh oh. So I'm gonna mix it in there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Palm oil is pouring all over the place. Anyway, no. it is a Ghanaian kitchen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know, this could actually serve as a sauce on its own. Completely. Yeah. This is, I mean, this can be... Grind your pepper. Shall they some... I mean, with your tomatoes bulb and planting, your onions bulb, in there. Yeah. Exactly. Even rice yeah. if you wanted. Yeah. Some banku king cake. Exactly. Like, or some eba. Yeah. yeah. And there are pieces <laughs> of herrings, herrings in, in there. there. Lovely. Yeah. Absolutely. I think even a bit of the tolubi forgot. Yeah. Got lucky. Uh -huh. And they are swimming in there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I'm just playing nice because we're on TV. <laughs> so <laughs> go back in there. Okay. Yeah, there we go. we go. Smells divine already. Yeah. yeah. So what we've just done is we've created a whole new mm -hmm. spice vibe. Yeah. With the veggies and the peppers that mm -hmm. have been grinded along with the palm oil yeah. you know so it's almost like grinding or blending your onions and your tomatoes mm -hmm. and your garlic from scratch, from scratch yeah. and then putting it in there right. look at that mm -hmm. okay. yeah. the kokoyam is almost there yeah almost there so let's just let us cover it for maybe another three to five minutes right and then we can start mashing, mashing it mashing it awesome 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 yeah okay so mm -hmm. nana yeah. It's time to do some mashing. We've done a bit already, yeah. but I'm going to change spoons. Okay. So this one is flat, more paddle-like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can just now that the kokiam is very soft. Soft. You can just mash see it that? Yeah. yeah. Nice, and just nice, mash nice. it at the side. So we're doing now. I simply can't wait to taste this. <laughs> You can have a taste. Look at the tulu beef. Oh my. It's just like. You know, look, like look a bus. Oh like Lord. a bus. Just swimming in there. Ooh. And me too. I'm hungry. I know, right? This is dinner. But no, yeah. but this is a really filling meal. Mm -hmm. It's hearty. Yeah. But it's healthy. Healthy as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, they say when you say hearty, it also means it's good for your heart. Ah. So. <laughs> Just putting it all in there. Nice, 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 nice. And nice and thick. Mm -hmm. And now that's not covered, all the starch and the, the mankani is yeah, also yeah. sort of coming together, mm -hmm. just unifying everything. Oh, this looks good. Just mashing the cocoa yeah. in there. Almost like making bangu. Yeah. <laughs> like you, you need to do a little bit more driving with bangu. Oh, than yeah. This. Completely. Yeah. Looking really good. What we need is for it to dry out a bit. Mm -hmm. There's still some kukoyam chunks in there. Yeah. Mm. So most of it, you mash it, or sometimes you just leave a little, a few chunks you know, you in there, know. you understand? No. Okay, so Nana, no. since we've got most of the kukoyam in there, mm -hmm. key ingredient. The palm oil. Palm. This, yeah. this thing, <laughs> this oil. 
It works oh, magic. It's divine. Yeah, it I works magic. You, God knew what he was doing. Yeah. He introduced his entire yeah. life. I'm going to pour it in there. Mm -hmm. Stir. Yeah. Pour, stir. And for me, you know the grits? Uh -huh. The yeah. fiber at the bottom yeah. of it all. Yeah. That's, That's the super ingredient. I tell you. <laughs> I tell nice, you. Nice, and nice, for me, because nice. my eyesight is not that bad, you know, a lot of people mm -hmm. don't realize I actually wear glasses and yeah. my, my prescription is minus 3.25 mm -hmm. because I'm wearing contacts. contacts and yeah. my contacts are clear, they are yeah. not colored, you know. So, me, it's a great excuse to eat palm oil <laughs> <laughs> because it's rich in vitamin A. And I think there's just, there's just something about palm itself. The whole the thing. other day on Upside Down, the guy brought palm wine and he wanted to convince me that palm wine helps in hair growth. Hey! I what? don't know if he was trying to shade let me, me. Let me go outside. <laughs> don't shout into the hey, Maybe you should that? go back and see the episode. <laughs> guy is telling I me that palm wine. I didn't hear that part. Charlie, guy says it helps in hair growth. Oh, so, well, maybe the oil is for the eye and the wine is for it's the for hair. It's for the hair. Yeah. <laughs> Banana. I mean, since we're, we're just about done, mm -hmm. let's go for a break. Okay. It's still what's cooking right here on City TV. We're making our magical important potter almighty. And when we come back, it will be time to eat it. This is what's cooking, and now it's time to eat the food that we've labored over, <laughs> slaved over with love. Yeah. You know, they say that when you're talking about food, you shouldn't say you sweat over the food, otherwise, okay. Charlie, we'll say that the sweat so entered the food. The food. Yeah. You know, yeah. So we labored and we loved. <laughs> but good, I, and you're very, very, very welcome, mm -hmm. viewers. And for those of you who are just tuning in, we've been making in Potter on Potter. Uh, what we did was we used cocoa yam, which is very popular very easy to find here in ghana in accra even in our markets um, others may use or choose to use sweet potatoes yam so kuna water yam as we call them in our local parlance um, but for those of you who don't know what's in potom potom is it's a kind of pottage as i explained beautiful english word from potom potom <laughs> in potwe <laughs> you know so that's what we're eating and Nana Tufobwati, the swag master, joined me in the kitchen. He was very, very helpful. Yeah. But it's also time to introduce into the fray my celebrity counsel. <laughs> and I know he's probably like insulting me in his head oh, for calling him that <laughs> <laughs> on camera. Okay. But that's what we call yeah. him. V. Selam Adonu Esquire. Yeah. <laughs> hi, hey, Selam. Hi, hi, hi. Big I'm your call. And, and, yes. And, uh, and from time yeah. to time, you, you do see Selam on City TV. Yeah. He pops up on A Question of Law Question with of law. David Kwekusechi from time to time. Um, other uh, Earlier days of City TV, you'd see him on What the Papers Are Saying say, with yeah. Vivian Kai Loco. If you listen to 97.3 City FM, you probably hear him on Eyewitness News every now and then mm -hmm. or whenever there's a legal conversation, you'd hear that. So, hi. Hi, it's a pleasure to be here. In pleasure, fact, pleasure I think we were earlier have. discussing no, that you, yeah, you, you guys have a lot of fun on set. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know, we I do. think we should be coming here more often. You should. <laughs> you are very welcome. We, we want to come and add to our celebrity. I think by now, <laughs> you, you've learned that I cooked eighty percent of this, right? Oh, mm, right. Yeah. You're contrary. I'm not going to. So argue. enjoy it. All right, I'm enjoying it. I yeah. think it actually tastes nice. Mm. Eat as much as you can. It's been a long yeah. time. I actually ate some potato potato, so this is bringing That's some good memories. You know. We used to eat a lot of these when we were in primary school, you know, after school, you, you came home and your parents or your mother prepared yeah. this and you actually enjoyed it. So I think it's taking me back to, to, to those days. So thanks so much, Nana Tufo and mm -hmm. Apioko yeah, for making it. You can call me Chef too if you like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. So now let's get into our conversation. Mm -hmm. So I'm um, earlier, Nana and I, and I'm very glad that you started, you, know, you introduced yourself, mm. your voice, oh. into this mix um, with a story, with a memory, with something that you remember from when you were very young. Because we've been talking about the fact that people like us who are sitting here at this table, we didn't necessarily grow up in our hometowns or in the villages right. that we originate from or that our parents may have been familiar with. A lot of us grew up, we're schooled, we work in contemporary Ghanaian environments. Yeah. But somehow we've managed to imbibe the heritage and the culture that lives within What's us. What's cooking? What just happened? Wow. <laughs> this <laughs> looks more like some uh, uh, type of pudding that I'm familiar with, with the uh, avocado. You mentioned one maybe, guest. Maybe the law can define that one. For <laughs> well, I invited only one guest. <laughs> yes. But tell them, this is my neighbor. Oh, your yeah. neighbor? Yes. We call him the taster general. Please. Uh, okay. Please. For one reason. Okay. You can move your. Let me grab a hey, for myself. Now you're sucking me from my. Like, this <laughs> is very old. See, so he doesn't show up when we are cooking. He doesn't show up. He <laughs> shows up when everything is done. Chelly, and not, not even all. when we are placing the food, oh. mm. when we have started eating, eating, that's when he pops up. Mm. Maybe I so, can sit by the lawyer. <laughs> so I can learn more. Well, basically, you're telling me I'll let you here. Wait, no, no. <laughs> then wow. I can learn some law. But let, hey, let where's me, my so, Asankarus? So, so who serves him? He serves himself or? Ah, no worries. Sometimes he does. The GPS. Shown me See, we are where talking about find heritage, you know and they taught me to be hospitable. You know? So let me not disgrace my parents. Your parents. And <laughs> and get yes, sir. Sir. Well, while I drink my good Your day. Good day. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yes. So what do you have in there? Oh, that's a nice hey. accoutrement for grading. <laughs> so you always come prepared. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Let you have me. the complete set because you're not sure yes. what's cooking. Mm -hmm. Yes. Whether it's wow. soupy, whether it's, you know, Little or soupy or choppy. Yes. <laughs> Maybe mm. I should find myself a neighbor that cooks every day so I can also be so many. So you also become so a, yeah. taste, a taster general. I also become a taster general because now I think I envy your position. But I, this is really nice, I, I tell you. Mm. And it's quite spicy too. You know, something I like my food I'm spicy. Yeah, I don't have any like... pear for you. Oh, you don't? No, I don't. Oh, that's not. But I didn't know you were coming. I, I can give you some yes, of mine. Yes, I'll take one of each. Ah. <laughs> and, and it will help in my breathing. Like, I don't know that to me. me. <laughs> you know no. the story about Kukwa Nancy mm -hmm. and his children? Yes. Yeah. Kukwa Nancy prepared food, shared it for the children. Mm -hmm. And then he yeah. started crying. And they all asked, why are you crying? He said, because yeah. I didn't get some of the food. Exactly. So they all gave him a, half of the years. In, in the end, he got more than all yeah, of more them. more than everyone. You know? so I, that's I, exactly I don't even done. know that I should be offended or... <laughs> no. I'm, I'm, that's exactly what he's done. Okay. I, I still have only three. You still have four. I have two. You know, <laughs> there's, there's a story. I Unfortunately, I don't know how to tell the story in any of our local languages, but the, the westernized version, the little red hen. So the little red hen always bakes bread. And she does, she gets her chicks to help. But she has friends. There's cat, dog, cow, all these interesting animals. Right. And they never even saw this one, oh, who helped me bake the bread? Not I, said the cats, not mm -hmm. I, said that all of them. Sir, who helped me go and bring the, mm -hmm. the wheat? Not I, not I. After the bread is who helped me eat the bread? Everybody I comes. will, I will. That's Everybody the taste comes. of general yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Maybe he's just good with timing. Mm. Is it nice? I'm all, yeah, I'm, don't, I'm, don't mark it yet. Mm. Okay, by the way, so we're having this conversation about heritage and traditions and you know, just basically contemporary times and whether we are really at risk of not knowing what came before us and the lineage that we carry, be it with our names, just the blood that flows through our veins, right? So, for example, I've been speaking to a lot of young men, women, who are gas. Now, when I was growing up, I knew that one of the gas staples is ripe planting. From rice right plantain, you get kelewili, you get tatali, yeah. you get kaklu, yeah. you get abulungo, 
you get a shanku. All these things. Um, and then even plantain, a toy if you want to mash it. We, we have those ones. You can boil the plantain and eat it with the kamu floor, right? Mm -hmm. So kamu floor is basically what you would call abomu. abomu. Okay. Yes. You know, but we eat it in here. We, we cook it in here. Even in some cases, you yes, make the yes, we yeah. actually cook it in the in the ka, as the gas call in the sanka on top of the fire. But now when you talk to you, you don't even know the difference between kaklo mm -hmm. and tatale. Like some have never even seen it before. They have no idea what abolongo is. Abolongo is our version of ofam. Ofam, okay. Yes, and ashanko is similar to that, but that one is steamed in plantain leaves. Leaves, okay. Yes. So just even using that as an example, food that we even like, oh, we, we seem to be lost. So what, what's your take on, on this? I'll start with you, Sala. Well, I think it's, 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 it's a real concern if you ask me, and, and it's true the way you've, you've, you've laid it out. A lot of it, uh, I think, come, is coming from the lack of, um, should I say, belief in our culture and our systems. Mm. So, for example, if you went to school and you said you brought kinky and fish, and somebody said he brought fried rice and chicken, you know, the person who says he brought fried rice and chicken is seen in a certain positive light yeah, compared to the Jet people. Yes, compared to the person who brought kinky and fish. Meanwhile, kinky and fish is supposed to be our food. The person's a girl. That should be the staple, the person's food. So, because of that, and because of the certain, a certain thinking of wanting to belong to that you know, as you call it, jet class of people, I think we've all shied away from certain kinds of food. It may not be the only reason, but I think it's a critical part of it, mm. not having so much belief in our system. And I think the media um, uh, has also been part of that. The mm. media, generally, what we consume, I mean, the, the, the movies we watch, um, the kinds of things we see. So when you watch even certain local movies, they, they, and, and the, the very rich families, the kinds of food they eat, those foods are hardly local. English breakfast. You know, because they, they, so, they want to portray mm -hmm. a certain picture. Aouza Koko and you, know, you hardly see Aouza Koko and Egon. You see yeah. English breakfast, mm -hmm. English tea, etc. the in that movie will you buy Aouza uh -huh. So mm -hmm. all these, I think, you know, sure. having added mm -hmm. positively to, yeah. to, to our heritage or exactly. who we are. But I think the good news really is that, I mean, we have media houses like CTFM, mm -hmm. etc., who are trying to help us, you know, retrace Exactly. you know yeah. that that path and i think it's a great thing so here we are enjoying this around the table mm -hmm. with all these surroundings on yeah. prime time know, tv with a lady who has red hair you know, we, I know we, right we, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of beats around the neck you know <laughs> and the tisco general in bow tie <laughs> i know right? so we, we, i think the tisco general needs a deliverance <laughs> me yes tisco general needs a deliverance you look like aquate police what does the law say about Not police. The, the elderly that. people watching us <laughs> 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 I'm, 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 not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're talking about, really. Okay. But um, because what you're saying that in the movies, you see, you watch other movies, sets, and they still portray what is tradition. Yeah. Yes, true. It's, 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 yeah, so, 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 so if the setting is even to portray a rich family. If you want to project your own, you still make it part of the breakfast or yeah, what? So, so the question is, what, what, yeah, what so sells? What's you know? us so, from doing so, that. so I, I think we need a general, um, should I say, rethinking around. Yeah, I don't think it's what sells. Think it's, what sells. Yeah. it's making a deliberate attempt to yeah, so, promote ours. Yes. Yeah, so it. sometimes that can happen, you know, spontaneously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other times, the policy must drive that. Exactly. So, for yeah, example, if there's a deliberate policy that, yeah. let's say, in all your hotels, make sure you cook local rice, mm -hmm. or make sure that what you cook, I mean, maybe if it's rice, the rice must be local. Mm -hmm. If it is maybe potatoes, they must be local, and things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, that will cause a certain reawakening, yeah. and it will force people to do the right thing, mm -hmm. and that will create it's jobs. True, because to, that's to, what to happens in Rwanda, things, right? for example. Yeah. 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 I mean, you go there, at least thrice a week, if you're to enter the poshest of restaurants mm -hmm. or hotels, I mean, compare them to whatever you think is posh here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. You enter those spaces, you have no choice. So yeah. There's nothing like a continental option. Mm -hmm. exactly. We are eating traditional yeah. Rwandan food. All they will do, though, is make sure that they on the menu, there are those that are a little relatable across yeah. the world. So if it's rice, mm -hmm. 
there's a rice dish. Yeah. It's Rwandan, traditional, but at least rice is familiar. Yeah. And we can, uh, anybody from yeah. around the world for the most part yeah. can be, um, relate to the taste. Yeah. Yeah. You know, same with the drinks even. You know, and then they are well labeled. Okay. Yeah, well well labeled. plated. So able to tell yes. Just by sight yes. what exactly it is that Yes, and said. the chefs are typically standing there, so you can even ask them questions. Mm. And that's not something that I've, I've heard. Well, it's something I've experienced. Right. right. And, you know, um, but there's that. But to follow me, come to you. Mm -hmm. um, you, as Salomis, is, is a father. Mm. Tissa General is a father too. Okay. Only yeah, a senior father. A senior father, yeah. 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 <laughs> what, 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 what are you talking about? <laughs> We're talking about fatherhood. Seniority in fatherhood. <laughs> but what are some of the things? Someone has very beautifully painted mm -hmm. some of the problems yeah. Yeah. that are causing what exactly. we are describing. Yeah. The things, I mean, children will go to school and come home. Yeah. And they feel as though... They actually come with complaints. Yes. Yeah. Well, they laughed that at you me because... you gave me this to take to school and my exactly. friend laughed at me because this person brought that. Yeah. And no parent wants that for their child. Sure. Exactly. Because it's a road to bullying. Yeah. And that's the first thing yeah. that the parents think. That confidence. Exactly. Absolutely. The child would end up becoming timid. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. for you, and you who has even come from a royal mm -hmm. home, yeah. you know, how yeah. are you, uh, I think you know, sort of working around spelled that. it out correctly, but that's at the national level. Policy should drive some of these things, although they can be spontaneous at times. But at the family level, that's where the deliberate attempt mm. comes in. If we're not careful, we'll get to a point that you meet a relative in town, someone you're related to by blood, and will not even know the person because they grew up in a different side of town. Mm. And that is where we are driving at now. Well, We're staying in the big cities, towns. exactly. And we yeah. don't go home. We don't go to our villages. We don't go to our hometowns. So you, you might have an auntie or a cousin, and you've never met the person. You probably hear their name somewhere, but you've never met the person. And that's on one side. When we were growing up, although I grew up in Tema, but vacations, weekends, midterms, you are taken back to the village mm. because you need to learn Certain things that you can't learn in Tema. Mm. Everyone is suited and tied in Tema. Mm. Almost everyone. So there's not much of our culture or heritage being displayed on the regular. You get it? So maybe during vacations and all that, take the kids back home. They'll see some of these games we used to play as children. Um, they'll even learn proper language. You understand? Because from where I come, if you go to my village now, it's a royal house. So you don't just wake up and then you I greet. Mean, I think so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and greet with your hand in your pocket. <laughs> or, I, I mean, there, there's urbanization, there's education and everything. But culture is culture. Heritage is heritage. Yeah. If you go back home, it's, for, it's free. You don't need to pay for it. I mean, your That's grandma true. is sitting there chewing her steak, brushing mm. her teeth. She says, you come now, let us say, I'll pay what did it? You are learning something just from those two questions she has asked you. Politeness, discipline. It's something she has done all over the years. Mm. But kids of today will see you and pass, won't even know what to do. Sure. Don't even know how to say please. Mm. They demand, they don't request. But mm. if you go to the village mm. setting, you, you get all this on the regular, it's for free. So I think we should be making attempts to take our children back home, at least introduce them to the rest of the family, learn some of these things, the do's and don'ts with regards to our culture, our heritage, and even the foods we eat. Take them to the farms. Listen, it's beautiful when you're farming and eating on the farm. True. You totally cook the food experience. on the farm and eat on totally the farm. Totally different experience. Totally different I'll tell you a story one time. My dad said Lipton in the forest in Eninam. <laughs> Just so that you understand that yeah. we can eat the and farm. Then you know when you name the, the thick of the forest. <laughs> and this man wants to serve lifted. He wants to drink tea. Now people are so wary of bad people, yes. good people. The, the, so the, the, the downsides of urbanization. Exactly. Yeah. You know, at least in the communal system, at least in your hometown, your village, you knew who was it. Like, yes. how I know my neighbor. You know. <laughs> Some people don't know who their neighbors yes, are. that's true. They've never even seen them before. You leave yeah. home early, yeah. get mm. home late. You don't even get to say good morning. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw somebody drop this at your gate. Yeah. You, you know, you don't see that. So, so, it's, it's so in this case, they said General was a good neighbor. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, so you gives an eye on you and your phone. How many, how many, <laughs> to, to, to how many cars do you board to your hometown? Oh, from here? Yeah. Two. Okay. Two. 
Because I would take a one hour walk and I'm in like my own you, you, you actually live in your home. Like yes. <laughs> yeah. so, mine mine so would be maximum that's why 45 mm -hmm. minutes. Amor is dear mm -hmm. to our hearts. Exactly. Because that's why we do the communal thing. Mm -hmm. They cook for everyone. Yeah. You bring your bowl, yeah. bring your drinks, like coming home. Mm -hmm. Yes, so yeah. that's where we... So, like I'm saying, we need to engage in some yeah. of these yes. stuff, the festivals. Sure. I mean, so, so maybe there's a swearing in of a chief or something. Take them yeah, there, sure. the coronation. Don't learn one or two customs very, or very traditions important. here and there. And maybe it's easier yeah. for us as guns to do that because we live. You are close to home. Our, our yeah. home is actually in the, in the big city. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, unfortunately, we're out of time. Thank you, gentlemen, mm. for your, your very wise words. And it's I do up. hope that given people our viewers, of course, who are part of us always, a sense of responsibility yeah. and some food for thoughts. But Taste in general, your verdict. No, sometimes you should leave me more to consume, to understand. So the, you've actually finished the, the food. Every ingredient in it. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a verdict right there. Yes. Is that good he's finished? I like the tolo beefy in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, I, I found it somewhere. Yeah. And the dried <laughs> fish. Mm -hmm. The hair yes. It, it, the hair or Harris. cheese. Okay. <laughs> there is cheese. Yes, tastes mm. good. So mm -hmm. this one, uh, the English version of what? It's a pottage. Po po eh? It's a cocoyam pottage. Calm down. Uh -huh. Calm down. No, no, because it's like pudding. Oh, yeah, cooking on pottage. Yeah, pottage. But thank you. And thank you very much. It's a good day, energy drink. Yeah. Yes, yes, my good I mean, when you're cooking and not energized, mm -hmm. if you don't take care, you fall asleep halfway through and the food will be here. Yeah. But good day keeps us going. <laughs> Salam Adonu, Celebrity Council, um, of course, part of the city family mm -hmm. every day, any day. Thank you for, 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 for coming through and for sharing your thoughts with us. And Nana, thank you for holding it down in the kitchen with me. You know, I got you, baby. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you've got mad kitchen skills. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Thank Chef, you, Chef Thank you, man. Chef number two. one, number one, number one. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for today. Thank you so much. This has been What's Cooking. My name is Apioko. We'll see you next week. Yes. Bye-bye. <laughs>